Hey guys, uh, this tutorial is on um, Orca and we will look at different tricks and things you can do um, to have a better idea of what's going on during your calculation and also um, see the different um, ways of how you can monitor the progression of the calculation even if it's not done yet. So we will start off by um, doing a very simple optimization. The molecule that I picked for today is penguinone, but you can really pick any. It doesn't matter really. The idea is that uh, we will do an optimization. So there's several steps to the calculation. And um, when you will run it using the command line as usual, you will see like a whole bunch of um, files being created and um, we are interested really in what's going on in the dot out file. So before it's done, um, it's really hard to, to see how your SCF cycles are doing. Is your calculation going crazy or are you soon to be done? So in order to analyze the output, you can use this uh, Python script that I wrote. Uh, it's called analyzeorca.py. You can get it uh, from the jithub.com. Uh, I'll get give you the link um, in the description of the video. And this is a Python script. It looks um, something like that. So once you download it and you give it the extension .py, you will see something like this. Um, and so you do need Python on your computer, but m most of the, the recent ones at least have at least Python 2.7, so you're, you're probably good to go. If not, you'll have to download it. Uh, so the way it works is you save the script in whichever directory you're comfortable with, and then you open the command uh, prompt, navigate to the folder uh, where your um, script is. So for me it will be uh, in Orca Docs. And now if I write Python space analyze uh, orca.py space and then I, I put the name of the file dot out that I want to analyze. So for me I have to um, navigate into the directory called penguinone and in there I want to look at penguinone dot opt dot uh, underscore opt dot out and I hit enter and you will get something um, like this so these are the graphs showing you um, basically the progression of your calculation the uh, energy change is over here so the closest you are to the blue line which is zero the uh, sooner you will probably converge um, in your optimization. Then you have the SCF energy, um, that, so the final energy at the end. Uh, and um, here you have the gradient and the steps. So you can see uh, as the calculation progresses basically what's going on. Uh, of course, if you didn't get to like the several steps of the optimization. If you're still stuck at the first one, it will only show you the um, SEF energy, so only one plot, um, where you will see basically how the energy is oscillating and whether it's converging or not. Okay, so that was our first part of the tutorial, and now I'll show you how to um, visualize the intermediate confirmations that uh, lead from the input confirmation to the output confirmation. Say we got our .out file and we search for the word hooray so we know that our optimization is successful and we want to see how did um, the molecules confirmation change along the way. Uh, for this, we will have to um, use the trajectory file. So what happens is that initially, 
um, when you download well you end up with all your files you get something like this you get an uh, XYZ file and a TRJ file so a trajectory and XYZ XYZ file contains only the final confirmation um, and the trajectory file contains all the confirmations that lead from input to output so this is what we want the problem is that um, Avogadro does not recognize a TRJ extension even though the internal um, format of the file is fine so the thing that you have to do is just rename the file for something like this and instead of the TRJ put XYZ uh, extension and hit enter you will get this uh, warning uh, saying that oh are you sure you want to change the extension because it can corrupt the file but um, there's nothing to be corrupted really it's a text file so still don't worry click on yes and now we can open this file in Avogadro like this now if you go into extensions animation you will see that you have one out of seven uh, confirmations so if you scroll through you will see how your molecule changes just gonna zoom in a bit more so it's easier to see it's not like a dramatic change for penguinol really but in some um, convergence it could be quite um, impressive so now um, if you also uh, expect like bonds breaking or forming you can click on dynamic bonds that will allow um, the, the, the bonds to um, you know disappear if the distance between atoms is too long or um, on the like oppositely like uh, reappear if the um, atom distance uh, shrinks so if you have something going from double bond to triple bond if you don't have dynamic bonds you won't notice the difference um, yeah you can also click on loop and let it just play um, and finally you can save it as a movie if you click on save as AVI um, I think that's it um, so if you want to um, get the script uh, you have to go on github.com slash um, my username the same as in um, YouTube and uh, if you have any ideas for other scripts that would be kind of cool to have um, or if you already have scripts that you would want um, to share that would be very kind of you so that other people could um, enjoy them too uh, so on that, um, yeah, send me um, send me your um, ideas, and we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, 